Happy Easter to you. I am making egg roll, plantain, cocoa yam, and of course the guacamole. I'll be measuring in about two cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, sugar, and a pinch of salt. So I'm just going to mix that, mix that, mix that, mix that, mix that. Then add about two tablespoons of butter. So I'm going to work it into the flour till it becomes a bit crumbly. Rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it. So at this point, I'll just form a small well to add one egg. So I'll begin to mix the egg in a dash of that coconut essence. And I'm going to be adding some water just to form a slightly sticky dough. Just a little bit of water. Mmm, that coconut. <laughs> that coconut is nice. Add a little bit more water. We are looking for about 9 to 10 tablespoons of water if you need to measure it. Just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of flour on my board, just a little. Then knead this dough. Okay, so after kneading, it's no longer that sticky. Then you put it in your bowl. Alright, so while that is resting, I'll begin to crack my eggs. Now, it's so easy to boil eggs. All you need to do is to put your egg, raw egg, in water. You turn the heat on and you boil. Um, at 10, 15 minutes, you should have um, hard boiled egg, depending on your heat. Okay, so eggs are ready. I'm actually supposed to be using about five to six eggs, but I'm seeing seven, I guess, um, we boiled more. So, but it's fine. If we have extra dough, we'll wrap it. If not, we'll just wrap the ones that it can wrap, the dough can wrap. So, trash the shells. Yeah, I hear there are a lot of things you can do with eggshells. So, if you know any, you can let me know in the comment section if you're watching. Um, if you're not watching online, you can always go to www.youtube.com slash Gina Edicordi to watch. You can also visit facebook.com slash foodiespice. I'm sure by the time you're watching, we are over 750,000 followers on Facebook. On Instagram, at Gina Foodies and Spice, you will see the very beautiful and lovely pictures. All right, so I'll bring back the dough. It's about five minutes now. I'll bring out the dough. I'm going to cut that into um, equal parts to wrap this egg. All right, so my dough has been resting for about 10 to 15 minutes. I just need the game. So at this point, I'm going to divide it into six places. Okay, so that's six. Just open it up with my hands. Just like this. I rubbed the egg in flour the bits. Now cover it up tightly. It's so easy to make really. So, so easy to make. All right, so I have all my eggs wrapped in dough. I'm going to start frying right now. It's deep frying, so we're going to fry with enough oil. So I'll allow the oil get hot a bit, not too hot, but hot, then we'll start frying. Okay, so you gently add. All right, so we'll allow it cook through and um, get golden all around it. All right, so my egg roll is 
ready. Yes, my egg roll is ready. It's time for me to do the plantain, the cocoa yam, and of course the guacamole. The good thing about this plantain today is that I am not going to be the one to be suffering to make it flat or, you know, make it look that way like plantain chips. I have my food processor to do that. Now oh, this is so cool. It's it's beautiful and it's flat. So I'll start frying them now. This is so beautiful. I just dropped the plantain, um, yeah, the unripe plantain into the pot. It looks so cute, like so so cute. It's flat. It's cute. The cut is I don't know if I can use the word sexy. <laughs> it's so fine. All right, so I'll just allow it. To, it's golden already, but I'll just allow it crisp up a bit before I'll bring it out. So while the plantain is frying, I just peeled one of the cocoa yams. So, but I'm going to go get that plantain off now from the oil because it has done really well. Well crisp, you can hear it. You can hear the crisp. So I'll drain it first before transferring it to this um, big bowl that I'll be using to serve it. This is so beautiful. So I'm going to put the next batch now, then continue with my Cocoyam. So I'll fry my cocoyam next. This cocoa yam is so crisp and delicious. Now you can sprinkle salt, seasoning on it, but because I'll be seasoning the guacamole, that's a dip, I wouldn't be adding salt. Crisp cocoa yam. Very crisp plantain chip. Lovely. So it's time to make the guacamole. During festive season, you bring out your best. You see, I first brought that um, white plate to pour everything to plate it. But I remember that I have this beautiful, um, how would I put it now? I don't know what it's called, but it's just a partitioned um, bowl or a partitioned bowl stand. I don't even know, but this is the stand, but these are the bowls. So that's what I'll be using to serve this. And probably I put the guacamole on one side. I'm still thinking but I'll serve with this. My husband brought this um, avocado pear from the village, Ekiti, the last time he traveled, and I kept it somewhere to ripen. I was scared that it wouldn't be good because I've been keeping it to wait for those shoots, but it looks good on the inside and I'm happy. First thing first, when you have guacamole, is to squeeze enough lemon or lime on it. Reason is, well, those are the seeds. Reason is, we need to keep this guacamole at least looking pretty green. And I'll quickly add about, those are very little, <laughs> little onions, very little. And I'll put a little bit of the red pepper, just very little. Send all of that into your guacamole. So I'll be using seasoning powder. So just a little bit, I'll just sprinkle for taste. Oh my, that aroma hits. So I won't be adding salt, that's just fine. So I'm just going to mix, 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 mix. So but this is our guacamole and it's so yum. I'll have a taste. Beautiful. Mm. Perfect. This is good, very beautiful, food done done. Time to serve and you're all gonna love it. It's a beautiful Easter table. For the holics, this is so beautiful, like, you can imagine coming to anybody's Easter table and finding a table this beautiful. You will want to sit down and eat. You even want to forget about the jello fries and the um, fried rice and the rest. Trust me. Mm. 
that coconut. <laughs> you can have this on the table. People come in as they are dissing with you. They are dipping and eating. Happy Easter, everybody. See you next week. Another beautiful episode. I love doing this for you guys. I really love it. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up, share and comment. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do click on the subscribe button and notification bell to enjoy more of my recipes.